All right, all right, all right. What's going on, everybody? Thanks for taking the time to tune into this video, which is step number six in the Don't Worry, Retire Happy process. I'm Ron Sneller, president and founder of Sneller Financial, coming at you from the Sneller Financial World Headquarters in lovely Clarkston, Michigan. Today, we're going to talk about step six, planning for long-term care and other medical costs. So if you have followed steps number one through steps number five up to this point, you have created a retirement plan, you've maximized your social security benefits, you've learned why you should work a little bit longer or at least consider a hybrid retirement, you have optimized your investment portfolio to protect against the ravages of inflation, and then you've secured enough guaranteed lifetime income to secure both a paycheck and a play check. So now you're feeling pretty good, right? And many people think that at this point, they're all set and retirement's going to be 30 years of golf, cruises, tennis, and happy hours, baby. But you're likely to go through three distinct phases in retirement. The first phase is what I call the go-go years. These are the early years of retirement when you are golfing, you are playing tennis, you are traveling, and you are enjoying your retirement. The go-go years are then followed by what I call the slow-go years. You see, the slow-go years are when you can still do everything that you did during the go-go years. You just don't want to anymore. You're too tired. In fact, you don't want to go downtown after 4.30 p.m. because dad can't see you when it's dark out, <laughs> okay? And then the slow go years are followed by the no go years where you're probably not leaving the building until you're leaving the building. If you know what I'm saying, right <laughs> now, when planning for your retirement, you need to keep all three phases of retirement in mind. Why? Because this will help you to enjoy the early years of your retirement and then adjust your expenses over time. Studies have shown that retirees actually have a decrease in real spending throughout the years for everything except medical. <laughs> now look, as we age, our recreation, um, <laughs> I, I guess our, our recreation becomes a little less expensive, a little less involved, like the cartoon that you see there on your screen. But in all serious, keeping this in mind, you may want to plan to allocate more of your income to recreational activities early in retirement, and then allocate for medical expenses later in retirement. That's why step six is planning for long-term medical costs. One of the fastest ways to deplete your retirement savings and your retirement assets is to be ambushed by the cost of long-term care. This step is going to help you from being surprised by an unexpected medical bill when you retire. The good news is that when you turn 65, most people qualify for Medicare. Medicare is the largest public health system in the United States. More than 50 million people receive healthcare benefits through Medicare and over 85% of those people are over the age of 65. But Medicare's coverage has some holes. According to the US Department of Health and Human Services, Medicare pays for only 55% of healthcare costs for its enrollees. The part that's not covered by Medicare has to be paid by you from your savings or by supplemental insurance coverage, which you can purchase. Many people are able to use healthcare plans from their formal, former employers or purchase a Medigap plan at age 65. These plans help to pay deductibles, co-pays, and co-insurance. Now, long-term care costs represent the largest gap in Medicare's coverage. Let me be clear, Medicare does not pay for long-term care. And this gap in coverage can significantly impact your monthly income and quickly wipe out your retirement savings. Now, we've probably all heard horror stories of the retirees who lost everything because they had to go into a nursing home for a lengthy period of time. Imagine this, 30 to 40 years of tremendous planning, discipline, saving, investing, denying yourself, long-term vision and delay gratification. You're well diversified with all these different products and programs. And at this point, you likely just have one piece missing, the long-term care piece. This is the one piece that most retirees haven't planned for, and I don't want this to sneak up on you and demolish your retirement savings. It will wipe you out. Don't let this happen to you. I mean, look at these costs right here. Home health care, over $20 an hour. 
assisted living facility, over $3,600 per month, full-time nursing home care, nearly $100,000 per year. And the other bad news is that healthcare costs, they tend to rise much higher than the average cost of inflation for other everyday products and services. So I want you to think of long-term care insurance simply as a shield that can help protect your assets. That way you're able to spend your money the way you want to instead of the way that you have to. Look, I know that it might not be your main goal in life is to leave a bunch of money to your kids and make them rich, okay? But look at it this way. When the good Lord calls you home, who do you want to get that money? The government, one of these local nursing homes or hospitals, or would you rather keep that money in your family? Look, I'm a former teacher in the traditional sense, education. So I love giving people homework assignments. So I wanna give you a homework assignment in this area. All I want you to do Sometime in the next 30 days, I want you to go stop by and visit a nursing home or assisted living facility. I want you to find one of the nicest families there. And I just want you to ask them just two questions. Number one, how are the finances working out? And number two, how are all of the brothers and sisters getting along? You know what you're going to find? Number one, the finances are not working out. And number two, I've been doing this long enough to know that there are people who are going to watch this video right here on my website where some of the brothers and sisters are not talking to some of the other brothers and sisters because of what happened with mom or because of what happened to dad, okay? Long-term care situations, they can tear families apart. So it's not all just about the money. And it's not just about you. It's also about your family, okay? That's why it's so important to plan for long-term care. Now, I, I have a lot of people who say to me, well, that probably won't happen to me. We'll be okay. But st statistically speaking, it probably will happen to you. Look at the slide. According to AARP, the odds of somebody who is 65 years of age or older needing some form of long-term care, it's over 72 or 72 percent. One way to control the costs that we looked at earlier is a long-term care insurance policy. Now, some people say to me, well, Ron, that long-term care insurance is just too expensive. Really? Try not having it. It will wipe you out. Look, and here's another thing to keep in mind. You can't just go out and buy these policies. You have to actually qualify for them. So don't wait until you have a significant illness or physical ailments because it's likely that you won't qualify at that time. It's good to apply in your 40s or your 50s if you can. Your policy will pay for your long-term care costs up to the maximum policy limits that you choose when you apply. And look for a policy that's federally qualified so its benefits will become income tax-free. Also, investigate other options that may be available. Every day, new programs are being developed to assist consumers in this all-important area of planning. There are now life insurance policies and even annuities that have long-term care benefits attached. Your financial professional can help you research your options. Now remember that any plan is better than no plan. Here's my plan. I love to brag about my plan. Me, I don't have to go into a nursing home ever. I get to stay in my house until, I, until the day I die. The nurse, she has to come to me. Why? Because I bought long-term care with home health care. You see, if I were to ask anybody who's watching this video whether they would rather spend their last days in their house or spend them in a nursing home, what do you think most people say? In their house, of course. That's why it's critical to have a plan. People think that long-term care insurance is nursing home insurance, but it doesn't have to be. If you buy a plan like I have, it can be anti-nursing home insurance. It's stay in your home insurance, stay in control insurance, maintain your dignity insurance. So that brings us to the end of step number six, planning for long-term care and other medical costs. Again, just as some standard disclaimers, this is based on the work by Tom Hegna in his Don't Worry, Retire Happy book and television series. Some other standard disclaimers, while the information presented today, it's supposed to be like general education for your knowledge. It's not intended to be specific advice. That's why you should get with me so we could take these general educational principles and apply them specifically to your situation. Also, I'm not a CPA and I'm not an estate planning attorney. So for those areas, make sure that you hire the correct qualified professional. And then I would be remiss 
And probably I would be in a lot of trouble <laughs> if I did not put up disclaimers about the registered investment advisory firm that I work with to give investment advice and to manage portfolios, as well as the insurance companies that we work with for annuities and different forms of life insurance and long-term care insurance. Uh, and again, you've seen some examples during uh, this video series during these presentations. Again, they are hypothetical examples and they might not apply specifically to you and your situation. And that's why it is so important to work with a professional like myself who can take this general knowledge and these uh, educational principles and apply them directly to your specific situation. I would love to help you and to work with you. All you have to do is give me a call or shoot me an email. My information's on your screen. Here at Sneller Financial, we're all about creating a plan to optimize your retirement experience. Don't worry, retire happy. That's our motto.